Well, how do you do anything? You do anything one step at a time, one day at a time. And it's the same thing with living out of your car. Uh, it can be sometimes a hard, overwhelming thing that gets frustrating. But how I look at it is every day I get through is every day I don't have a mortgage. Every day I don't have rent. Every day I live as free as possible. I do think about there may come a day where I add some comfort uh, because you balance out enjoying the fruits of your labor, having some comfort, planning for the future, and while at the same time you don't want to bite more than you can chew financially and emotionally, and look, I'm middle age. And I, I, I don't want to be ever controlled by someone else or something else. I don't want to stress out every day that I may get laid off today. I don't want uh, a family member to hold something over my head. I don't want society to hold something over my head. You know, my way of living as a nomad living out of my car is probably not for most people. But it can be for some people. And it can be for a season of life not your whole life. And for the season of life that you're living this lifestyle of a nomad, you have to look at it as every day I get through, every day I don't have a mortgage, every day I don't have rent, it's just another day closer I am to retirement age, another day I'm closer to my goals, another day I may wait for the market to switch. Because the market trends switch too. I mean, there's no timing the market, but I don't want to buy an overpriced house. I don't want to buy an overpriced RV. Why? Uh, Because for me, it's just the the reason why 80% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. And even if you're not living paycheck to paycheck, uh, there's an emotional entanglement. And um, I don't know, you know, I go back and forth in my mind, you know, am I living the best life for my circumstance? And at the age of 40, I still think yes, but I, I'm still looking. But what I tell myself and what I tell anyone out there embarking on this lifestyle is that you get through it one day at a time. And every day you wake up and you get going, you're going to have some frustrations. You don't have as much room or as much comfort as some people. But you also don't have the entanglements of most people. You don't have the burdens of most people. So it's a give and a take. Uh, It's a blessing and a curse if you want to look at it like that. But, um, but those are my thoughts, you know, Um, you know, how do you complete a big project one step at a time? How do you accomplish building a skyscraper one brick at a time? You know, how do you get through anything in life? It's just breaking it down. Okay. And just uh, taking it day by day with some thought for the future, some planning, um, and, you know, waiting for the right opportunity if you are going to add some comfort or add some materialistic things. I guess I have the benefit of living both lives. I think if I never owned a home, I would probably be on the spectrum of, I want to buy a house. You know, that's why I work. I want to have my own thing. And there's value there, And but I owned a house for 15 years. I know what it is. Uh, but I, I want to be fair. Like if I always rented and if I never had the experience, maybe I would look at a different, I probably would. Um, if I wasn't middle age, I would look at my lifestyle different. If I was in my sixties or seventies and I knew I was at social security age, Medicare age, and I could, you know, live off that, then I would probably get an RV or get a home base because my financial future is set. But when you're middle age or younger, your financial future is not set. And you have to keep a lot of flexibility so that you're not on a hook to a lot of exterior, you know, exterior things. You know, again, job layoffs, uh, bad economy, uh, being in the wrong place. You know, a storm comes, and I, I just think, you know, I default to flexibility, and and yes, there's some suffering to the lifestyle because it's not as comfortable as some others. The reward is the freedom, and the the mindset is. When it gets tough for me, well, let me just get through another day, another day. Every day I keep getting closer to retirement age. I keep getting closer to, you know, look, for me, that's a big part of it. You know, I I hope I can retire early, but even if I can't, I want to get to retirement 
and know then that I don't have to worry about being destitute. Uh, and I know in a first world country, you'll never be destitute. You'll never starve to death. You're never going to go without housing. But when you go on programs to get that, or when you have to get another high stress job and you don't have options, when you don't have options, people determine what your options are. Yes, you get laid off, you can get another job. I've been down that road. But you have limited options when you have a certain budget. You know, yes, if you were had a disability, God forbid, or something happened to you, you can get uh, food stamps or you can get subsidized housing. But they tell you, you know, that you have to do it on their terms. For me, I want to live life as much as possible on my terms. Okay. And for me, at this point, is to live as a nomad, live out of my car and to get through one day at a time. And each day I get through with no mortgage, no utility bills, no neighbors, no whatever. Uh, that's how I justify it in my mind, right or wrong. Uh, I'm not hurting anyone. I'm not breaking any laws because I park legally. I, I, I move legally. So for me, it's just my lifestyle choice. Like many people, they choose a lifestyle based on their reasoning uh, their personality, their objectives, their goals. And so we're all different. We all, we all have a level of similarity, but we have a different fingerprint than everyone else in this world. You have a different fingerprint than your mother, than your lover, than your child. Everyone's different. Similar but different. And that's a unique part about life. So, you know, those are my thoughts. I hope my thoughts and my videos help you in some way. Thank you to all my members. If you'd like to be a member and support the channel, click the blue join button. You'll get unlimited access to all my live feeds, custom badge, custom emojis. Uh, thank you for those who watch my videos. You can check out my playlist as well. Keep pushing forward. Check, take life one day at a time. One day at a time. Keep showing up. And hopefully, through faith and works, progressively, your life gets better. All right? Peace.